16. Welcome back, everyone. I'm News 10's Christina Arangio. Time to check in with Chief Meteorologist Steve Caparizzo for this week's Pet Connection Extra. Steve. Thank you, Christina. Pets are so important in our lives. They bring us happiness, laughter, and love us unconditionally. Just like people, they can develop illnesses that require a specialist. I had a little dog named Zachary that had an irregular heartbeat and wore a pacemaker for seven years of his life. He gave us more time to love and enjoy this little guy. Dr. Way is a cardiologist at Upstate Veterinary Specialist. He saved his life and tells us the symptoms to look for. Symptoms can uh, be fairly vague and would go along with what you might expect for a, a dog aging. Anyway, they're slowing down, and not as active, their exercise tolerance may be less. Uh, more specific symptoms of an animal who has uh, more advanced heart disease or congestive heart failure could be coughing or shortness of breath. Your primary care veterinarian typically will send your pet to a specialist for further tests. And when they uh, see me, they have some initial diagnostics to figure out how their heart's doing. Maybe an EKG or an ultrasound exam of the heart called an echocardiogram and uh, potentially some x-rays if they haven't already been done to give us a good picture of how the heart is functioning. A new heart murmur in an older pet could be a tip-off something is going on. Uh, for a dog who's aging, a uh, new murmur oftentimes is an indication of a, of a heart valve that's starting to deteriorate, much like other tissue in your body, your joints, your cartilage can deteriorate, heart valves can deteriorate gradually, and that murmur just means there's turbulent or noisy blood flow in the heart. There are two more common types of heart disease in dogs. Interestingly, the most common heart disease we see is, is something that is more uh, prevalent in small breed dogs, um, the degenerative valve problem. Large breeds are prone to some other inherited diseases called cardiomyopathies that are uh, heart muscle diseases that are genetic, and they gradually cause the heart muscle to weaken with time. Treatment is very similar to human medicine. Yeah, much of the therapy we have for dogs uh, is similar to people. I'd say pacemakers are not uncommon in, in uh, veterinary patients, more often in dogs than in cats. And some other interventional procedures can be performed in dogs and cats to address a variety of different heart diseases. A good diet is important for a healthy pet, as is exercise. Keeping animal fit is helpful. And then um, even more important for people who are choosing a pet, uh, look at their pedigree and their parents' uh, health and whether or not they're a breed that's prone to heart disease before they get a, a particular breed. Thanks, Dr. Way. It's important to have routine visits and realize that your dog can easily mask problems. Unlike people, they can't tell you when something is bothering them. So checkups are very important. Back to you, Christina. Thanks.